week's episode of Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Tekadan fights to take control of their flagship, the Isaribi, and it all ends in a big space battle against Naze Turban and his gangster mobile suit pilots. Lots of new mobile suits, lots of new characters, and lots of awesome action in this episode right here, which seems a little complex at first, but it's a relatively simple episode. You see, they're still trying to make their way to Earth, but they run into Admos, the guy who actually fleed from the battle a couple of episodes ago, and he's joined with Naze Turban, who is this slick, smooth-talking gangster who works directly under Tewaz, and they're trying to take control of the Isaribi ship, and of course this results in a big, epic mobile suit battle. There are a number of new characters who show up this week who seem like they're going to be really interesting and probably have a lot of great development with the main characters of the series. This one girl who goes by the name of Amida seems to be working directly with Naze Turban. They seem to have some sort of lovey-dovey relationship, and she seems to be piloting this really awesome mobile suit, which kind of looks like a graze, but the actual face is a little different, a little more angular. I've never seen a mobile suit like this in the series thus yet, but I'm sure they're going to expand on them as the series goes on. The most interesting mobile suit was the one that Mikazuki was fighting against in the Gundam this week. This weird, almost just standard-looking mech, which has the ability to fold its arms under, and it has these big propulsion blasts which allow it to move a lot quicker, and it has some pretty devastating cannons. It's piloted by this one free-spirited girl with pigtails who doesn't really get formally introduced in this episode, I don't know her name quite yet, but it seems like her relationship with Mika is going to be very complex to say the least, and I'm surprised that they're already throwing in another female character for him to deal with, especially because he's having to deal with the baggage of Kudelia, Ina Bernstein, and Atra. Speaking of which, if you wanted an obligatory ass shot from Kudelia, you're gonna get it in this week's episode when she tries to get into her normal suit, the space suit. But at the end of the day, the reason to check out this week's episode of Iron-Blooded Orphans, without a doubt, is for the awesome mobile suit battles. Mika's battle with that weird mobile suit that's used by the Tewaz group, the one that can fold its arms, is a really strange battle because, for the most part, Mika actually ends up getting his ass handed to him, getting just blasted from multiple directions and not able to keep up with the mobile suit. That is until he actually attaches himself to it with one of his big cables. It leads to this amazing sequence where they're flying around this asteroid field where she she tries to slam Mikazuki and the Gundam into this one giant rock, but luckily he actually uses that to hold on with his weapon and actually pulls her back, which slams her right into the asteroid. It's pretty damn awesome. But even with that, my favorite mobile suit battle this week was definitely with Akihiro using the upgraded Graze that they stole. He is such an awesome character. He really is Space Guts. The coolest thing about this episode, though, is that during all of these mobile suit battles, Orga and his team has actually infiltrated Turban's ship, and they've decided to take it over. And by the end of the episode, the battle is done, and they're getting ready to have an open dialogue with their team. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans? I honestly think that Tekkenan might have just found some brand new allies. I only say that because a lot of these characters are shown in the intro of the show, and I have a feeling that they're going to take over this ship and sort of make it like the second ship that belongs to Tekadan, especially because they took the time to give a lot of the different crew members of the other ship like a more distinct personality and design. So I imagine we're going to see these characters a little bit more, and I'd like to see more interactions with the other pilots and Mika and everything, especially that one female who's obsessed with nail polish. At the end of the day, though, this is still a very simple episode. They run into a little bit of opposition, so they get into a battle. However, there are some themes in this episode that I think are really awesome. I especially love when Mikazuki's battling that one girl, how at the end, he almost seems incredibly frustrated when the battle is over, like he wasn't able to quench his bloodlust. It's really creepy because the opponent that he's fighting against seems to be having fun in battle, and for Mika, it's kind of a chore, almost as if he's doing everything in his power to try and end it and destroy her. But as it is, this episode was a lot of fun and introduced a number of brand new characters and mobile suits. There were a lot of great standout action scenes and getting to know all the different members of the Isaribi and this brand new ship I think are going to be really, really fun. So this was another fantastic episode with lots of great animation and artwork, especially from the Gundam. It always looks really cool just the way it moves around and all the great close-up artwork shots of it always look really great. Just another really fun episode of Iron-Blooded Orphans. So check it out, Gundam fans you're definitely going to like this week's episode. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I really liked it a lot, but like most people, I just want more answers. I really wish they would let us, like, know who these characters are. Like, I just barely remember any of the names.
names. Before you guys leave today, make sure to tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Did you have a favorite new character who showed up? A favorite new action scene? How about a new mobile suit? What do you guys want to see from the rest of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans? Make sure to tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!